Hi, this is Amy Walker and great decision taking me up on my offer for the Business Expert Ultimate Marketing Calendar. This is a powerful tool. You know you are an entrepreneur through and through when you see spreadsheets and you just get excited. And I want you to understand that this spreadsheet I'm sharing with you today, this template, this guide, this is what I use to track my business and to know exactly what numbers I need to hit to reach my goals. Too many business owners these days are running their business blind. They don't have the information they need. They set this great monthly sales goal at the beginning of the month, but then they have no idea how many leads they need in order to hit it, how the numbers are gonna convert, or what types of things they should be doing. So this is a powerful tool. I'm excited to show you how to use it, and let's just jump right in. First thing on the template is your conversion numbers. Now, if you don't know your conversion numbers right now, you're gonna need to track them over the course of, I would start with a week, and then go a month, and, and pretty soon you'll know what your numbers run at. So first thing is, it's gonna ask you your sales goal. I have in here $10,000 right now, but let's say that we wanted to increase that to $100,000. So what we'll do is just write in $100,000. And if our most popular product that we sell most often is $500, that will tell us that we are going to need to convert 200 sales in order to make that happen. If our most popular product was a $10,000 product, now it's going to tell us we need to convert 10 sales. And so these numbers, as soon as you put in your information, it's going to tell you how many sales you need to close. But let's just for simplicity's sake, let's bring this back down to $10,000. Let's bring this da back down to you have a $500 product. So now we're shooting for 20 sales. Your sales conversion rate is how many of the people that you present your, your product to actually purchase. And I have it in here as 25%, uh, just, just a standard number. It, that, that percentage ratio, some people ask, well, how do I know what's a good one? It actually depends on your price point and it depends on your industry. For very high ticket items, 10% is considered a successful conversion rate. Whereas if you have an inexpensive program, 80% is a good conversion rate. So I have it in here at 25% right now just as a base. So if we have 25% conversion rate, that means we need to have 80 sales conversations. So let's say, let's play with this number and show you how that works. If you have 45% conversion rate, that number goes down to 44. If you had 10 conversion, 10% 10 conversion rate, that number goes to 100. Let's say you really struggle with sales and you're converting at 5%. Well, now you need to have 400 sales conversations. Let me tell you why this is exciting and not depressing, because some of you are probably looking at this going, that's so depressing, I need 400 sales conversations. The reason it's exciting is because you are never, ever, ever gonna hit $10,000 a month in sales, even though you've been setting that goal every month without knowing that you need 400 sales conversations. And this might be a good indicator, if your number's at 5%, this might be a good indicator that you either need to invest in some sales training or you need to hire a salesperson who can get you back up to the number where you want to be. So we're going to leave it at 25%. Now, out of your all of the appointments that you schedule, what percentage of them hold? So let's say that for every 10 appointments you schedule, that eight of them hold. That would give you an 80% hold rate, which means you're gonna actually need to schedule 100 appointments in order to have your eight conversations, which will then generate your 20 sales and give you that $10,000 a month that you've been wanting. If you're at 50-50, then you can see you need 160. If, let's say you schedule a bunch of appointments and hardly any of them, hardly any of them hold, if you only hold 10% of the people that you schedule, you actually need to schedule 80, 800 appointments scheduled. Again, that shows you, hey, we got a problem in our system. We really need to work on something, maybe automatic reminders, maybe something about your scheduling script is wrong, maybe you're scheduling with people who really aren't that interested and you need to adjust who you schedule with but it's gonna just kind of tell us where we need to be. I'm gonna leave it at 50% and then let's move over here. 
So the percentage of people that we talk to that schedule is what comes next. Let's and, and you're never going to schedule 100% of the people that you talk to. So if you are, let's say you reach out and out of everyone that you invite, 50% of the people say yes. Now you know that you're going to need to invite 320 people actually be on the phone with them and say to 320 people, I would love to introduce you to my product or service. When can we schedule a time? Let's say that number is at 25%. Now that goes to 640 people that we need to invite to have a sales conversation with us. And again, some of you are going to look at those numbers and go, that's so depressing. I can't believe I have to talk to six. But let's talk about what's really just, what's really depressing is wanting every single month $10,000, feeling like a failure in life and business because you can't figure out how to produce it because you don't even know how many conversations you need to have in order to get there. And the other thing that's depressing is having a part of your system that's broken and because you're not paying attention to the numbers, you don't even know it's broken, and so you're not spending any effort to fix it. So I'm going to actually let this one sit at, I'm going to let it sit at 30%, and then we'll move on. So now we need to talk to and invite 533 people. Now the next number is the percentage of the leads that you talk to. So if you're working in a very warm market, uh, what that means is phone calls made your neighbors, your friends, your family. You could be at 90% of the people that you reach out to that they actually call you back and you get to talk to them. And so now you would know that you need 590 0.59 leads in order to reach your $10,000 goal. If you're working in a very cold market, uh, that number is going to change as well. It can go down to as low as like 15% of the people. You know, if you're just cold calling, uh, actually, I, guess I would say would be more about 10%. And so that would tell you that we need now 5,333 leads in order to reach our goal of $10,000 a month. And again, I'm going to put this one somewhere in the middle. I'm just going to put it at 30%. Uh, which would indicate you have a lead source that's not super, it's not cold people who necessarily know you personally. Maybe you're generating leads online. Uh, that would be a better range in there. You know, you know the numbers, and that is so exciting because now all you got to do is go into the next section, break it down, and figure out how many leads you need to have and what type of opportunities you are going to do to get them. So let's look at that. Let's go now to the marketing opportunities. So we're going to base this off of our number here that we are looking for 1,170. I'm just going to put it at 1,778 is the number of leads we are trying to get. So let's say that you have the opportunity to do a vendor booth. It's going to cost you 900 leads, but you're projecting that you'll get, or sorry, it's going to cost you $900. You're projecting that you'll get 1,000 leads. At that, your projected lead cost, projected cost per lead, is that each lead would cost you 90 cents. And your projected sale, based on the numbers that are up here, you should sell $5,625, which would give you a projected lead value of each lead would be worth $5.63 to you. So when you are at the beginning deciding what you want to do, we're going to calculate based on your standard numbers. So let's say that you're going to do another uh, marketing opportunity. You are going to run a Facebook ad. And we are going to set this at a budget of, let's say we're going to set it at a budget of $500. Because the thing about Facebook ads that's nice is you decide how much you want to spend. So Let's say that for a new campaign, uh, let's say you're getting $3 leads. So 500 divided by 3, uh, that means we're going to get 166 leads. And when we put this in, $3 a lead. And our projected sales are going to be $938. 
Our projected lead value is $5.63. So now, this is still not quite enough. So right now, we're at projected sales of, let's see, let me just run this out, 5625 plus 938. So we still haven't projected enough to get to our $10,000 in sales. So we're going to do a little bit more. Now we're going to look at doing a speaking gig. And let's say we offer for us to be able to go and speak for free. So there's a zero cost. But there's going to be 100 people in the room. And out of that 100 people, we're just guessing that um, 60 of them are going to give us their information to get in touch with them. So now that's projecting us at $338 in sales. And let's say that we are going to do, uh, this is one of my favorite things to do, we're going to do an expert summit. We run these all the time. And these are also very low cost to put together, but I'm going to put in there about $200 just for contingencies of, if you've never done one before, there's some software that you're going to need to enroll in. Um, but let's low cost there, we'll say it's $200, but it's going to generate for you probably $1,600 leads to... I don't know, 2,000. So now you've got some cheap leads in there. You got expensive leads with the Facebook ad. You've got not so expensive leads with the vendor booth. You've got free leads with the speaking gig, and you've got really low cost leads with the expert summit. But now you've hit enough to generate your sales goal for the month. Isn't that exciting? So now what we do in the beginning of the month is we say this is what we want to have happen. Here's all the different things we're going to do to market this month. Here's how much the costs are. Here's what we project the leads will be. And then based on your numbers, it's going to tell you how much you should be converting from sales. So then we're going to go through at the end of the month and see how it actually went. <laughs> That's important. We always, you know, we want to project based on the numbers, but then we've got to go through and actually look at it and see, did it work the way that we thought it would? So now we're going to enter in from the Facebook ad. Uh, let's say that we thought we were going to get $3 a lead, but in reality, it didn't go quite as well. Um, maybe we got $4 a lead, so we spent $500. If we got $4 a lead, that means we had 125 leads come in instead of the um, six, instead of the uh, 166. So now we know our actual lead cost was $4 per lead. And now let's say that the sales that we generated, uh, let's say we generated $1,000 in sales. Oops, $1,000. Now we know that the value of these, this lead source, each lead was actually worth $8 to us. Was this repeating, worth repeating? We'll have to come in and just look at that. Now the speaking gig, let's say that there was supposed to be 100 people in the room. Um, there only ended up being 80 people in the room, but we actually did a really great speaking presentation. And let's say that we signed up, we got 80, 75, there's always going to be five grumpy people. So 75 per people from that room actually said, yeah, I want to join your list. They did your text opt-in. And let's say from that it was a super awesome um, event and you generated uh, $338 in sales, which is exactly what you set out to do. Now those leads, it can tell you the value is, actually, the actual real value is $4.51 per lead. That's what they generated. Now let's say we're looking at the expert summit. So let's say you actually had a really good expert summit. You had awesome joint venture partners and a great topic, and you followed my proven system that I use every single time. And instead of $1,600, let's say you got $2,500 because that is very, very doable in an expert summit. Now your leads went down from projected at being 13 cents a lead. Now they only cost you 8 cents a lead. And let's say you tapped into a really super amazing lead source there, and these leads are just hot. They're exactly your target market, exactly who you want it to work with. And um, let's say that you closed out of those leads, let's say you closed $10,000. By the way, with expert summits, these numbers are very conservative. So I'm not 
pretending that you can do amazing things. It's a great lead source. Okay, so now we've got four dollars per lead as the value of each lead. And now you're going to go back through and you're going to say which ones were worth repeating. And, and then you know this is something that works for us. This is something that we like to do. I love how you're actually tracking and, and paying attention to not just what you think is going to happen, but going back afterwards and seeing what actually happened. Too many business owners don't do that. They just hope for the best. They throw out the money, and at the end of the month, they come back and they can't figure out why it's not connecting the way that they want it to. And then down here is your monthly uh, calendar. So you're just going to say, these are the opportunities that we're going to do this month. And you write them each in, and then you write down the date, scope, and the frequency. So for example, let's say that you're going to do an expert summit, and the date scheduled is, uh, I'm just going to throw out an arbitrary date, but May... 15th, 2020. We'll pretend that we're in the future here. And then the frequency, let's say you're going to do an expert summit quarterly. So now you know that this is, because an expert summit quarterly works really well. It's, it's frequently enough that people are understanding it, they're excited for it, they wait for it, they tell their friends about it. So it stays on their radar, but it's not too frequent that they are like, oh, well, I'll just catch the next one. And then let's say a vendor booth. That's another one that it's actually kind of seasonal. So let's say this month, because May is the season for expert or for vendor booths, let's say that you're going to do one on 5 slash 5 slash 2020. And let's say that you're going to do another vendor booth. Because vendor booths are really spring and fall are their times. Let's say you got another one on the 25th, and we're going to put these in here. The frequency is seasonal. It's actually a little tricky to find a vendor booth every single month of the year. Not saying it can't be done. You just might have to travel to the vendor booths instead of taking advantage of what's available in your market. But you're simply going to go through and put in everything that you're going to do. Um, maybe you want to be speaking to groups more. Oh, speaking gigs are awesome because sometimes they'll even pay you to do the speaking gig and then you get to offer your products. And even if they don't pay you, but you just get to go and show up and offer your products or services and it's the right group for you to be speaking to, that's free leads right there. And you can convert sales from it, which is awesome. So let's say that you're doing a speaking gig on March or May 11th. And let's say your goal is to do two a month. So this is just really helping you to get your marketing mapped out and you never have to miss a sales goal again because you know exactly what you need to do in order to reach the sales goal. And this is the exciting part. Let's say you conquered this level and now you want to move up to this level. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do every step of the way. And let's say that you hire a really good salesperson. Now they're converting at 40%. It's going to adjust for you. And so it adjusts not just these numbers at the top. It's going to adjust them all the way down and tell you everything you need to know in order to successfully run your business's marketing campaign. All right, that's it for now. I'm Amy Walker. Thank you so much. I hope you will use this tool because having a great tool that just sits in your inbox doesn't really do that much for you. And I know that I am interested in your business growth. So let's get in there, use the tool, make it amazing. Thanks.